You know, this time of year in particular, we hear a lot of concern from parents about flu season um, and making sure that the asthma is under control during flu season. Why is flu season so hard for so many asthmatics, and are there things that parents should be on the lookout for during it? Oh, most definitely. Uh, first of all, flu is a respiratory illness. It's a, it's, it's a contagious respiratory illness, and it's caused by viruses, and uh, millions of people get it. I, I think there's been an estimate, at least from anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 percent of the uh, population will get flu at, at, at some at, during each year. Um, so with flu being a respiratory illness causing uh, congestion and, 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 and difficulty, on top of asthma, well, you're, you're having two respiratory illnesses all at one time. And children do experience more and because more problems because they're in asthma. The, the airways are hypersensitive. And so a virus that's going to cause inflammation, congestion, more mucus is going to make the, an asthma uh, person uh, suffer uh, worse. So things that you can, a parent can do is that first is to make sure that that, uh, that, they, that the child has a flu shot. Uh, make sure they talk to the pediatrician or the, the internist, and uh, uh, making sure that they can uh, have the take the flu shot, or come up with a plan to uh, to prevent uh, the, the flu in the event it does that you, you did get it. The other thing is. You want to avoid the triggers, the normal triggers that the, that the child has for asthma during the flu season. Uh, so you, you want to make sure that the, the you, uh, person is going to uh, control their hygiene, make sure they wash, wash their hands when they're sneezing, make sure they're, they're using the uh, antibiotic gels frequently. Uh, those, those sorts of things will go a long way in preventing uh, uh, asthma being uh, triggered by the, by the flu. Uh, 